Hello and welcome to TZ Gaming. Today I'll be showing some gameplay footage from the Skyrim build named Sisters of Order by Brynjolf. This build comes in three variations, the Path of Fire, the Path of Ice and the Path of Storms. And for more information on this build and to look up the talent perk spread for each of these variations, feel free to click the link in the description down below. The Path of Fire uses fire magic mainly, as well as a sword in the right hand as your weapon. You can use your sword in melee combat up close, or use it for sneak attacks that you can use to do multiplier damage to an opponent's back. You can also keep stacking your fire attacks like Incinerate to do even more damage as they will progressively get stronger the more fire you stack on an opponent. But you can then finish them off with a power attack straight to the head. When surrounded by multiple opponents, using fire out of stealth can be more effective and advantageous than using your sword with a sneak attack, especially when there is flammable liquid on the ground. Getting a bottleneck point to just shoot your fireballs out of, as well as using it to block any ranged attacks from opponents like spellcasters or archers, will be an effective measure to make sure that you're the only opponent shooting out damage. But when it comes to the crunch and you're facing down someone in a one-on-one -on -one combat situation using ranged, keep stacking your flame attack as you'll do even more damage and a chance for the intense flames perk to make them run and you can shoot them in the back. The Path of Ice uses ice magic as well as dagger combat and with any of the builds flesh spells such as oak flesh, ebony flesh. Using your ice attacks up close even when detected can be an effective measure especially against opponents who are using power attacks to drain and deplete their stamina and to be able to eliminate one opponent using ice and your other to use the dagger. Using your silent rolls to get up close to an opponent even amongst a group to eliminate one with a backstab can be an effective way to eliminate an opponent without detection from anyone else. You can then go on to use your ice attacks when you're ready, either using the range to your advantage to be able to knock back an opponent to get them to use their bow attack or maybe magic instead of having two opponents in melee, and using the silent rolls to move back a bit so that you'll be able to attack one opponent one on one in melee, then use your ice to finish off the other opponent at a distance. The Path of Storms focuses on using lightning magic as well as a bow as your weapon. You'll be able to use your bow not just for ranged attacks and zoomed in attacks to slow down time, but to use as misdirection to guide opponents to where you want to tunnel vision and take them down. You can also use your bow to stagger opponents, which will give you enough time to swap over to your lightning spells, allowing you, especially against magic types, to drain them of any magicka while you're able to knock them back with jewel stuns if you wish, or get them into melee range by baiting them, and then finally finishing them off with a big bolt of lightning. The true power of this build comes from the synergetic combination of using your lightning magic as well as using your bows to attack an opponent in either melee or ranged combat. Using your bow will allow you to stagger the opponent, giving you enough time to swap over to your spells without being attacked or interrupted, as well as giving you enough time to dual wield them. When the opponent is staggered and knocked over, you'll have a plethora of choices on what you would like to do. You can use this time to either heal or use this time to prepare what your next strategic move will be, as well as being able to get in close and prepare to aim at point blank range, trying to go for the heart or somewhere critical, as well as being ready to finally give that death blow, defeat the opponent for once and for all.